I am happy to hear and receive Dr. Su, who also invited us and received us in Korea in November. And I want to tell him we are ready as a Kenyan public service to adopt mindset education as a way of ensuring that we serve our citizens better. We bring in efficiency and effectiveness, which is part of our mandate, into the public service. The clergy should go undergo the mindset education to stop them from using their privileged position to manipulate the mindset of the followers. And uh, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to the day that we shall introduce mindset education in our schools, the day all of us, both young and all old shall receive mindset education to help us liberate ourselves from the yoke of tribalism and self-hate. If we do this as a nation, what we, are, we don't need to change our constitution, we don't need to change all the things we need to change, it's only the mindset and our nation will change to become a better place to live as Kenyans. Thank you very much, and I encourage you, we listen what the Reverend Dr. Cho is going to park, is going to tell us, because it is important for us as a nation. Thank you very much, and God bless you. And many countries are asking for this training. And so we want to start mind education that will specialize in teaching this. And so governments of many countries, you know, they have sent us their government, public servants, and we are educating them. And also in Kenya, in the future, usually from elementary school to college students, with the permission of the government and the Ministry of Education, just one hour a week, they receive this mind education. And within it, when the students learn together, and when their hearts flow together, they change into a whole new kid.